Okay, this is new and this is big. Uh, big not just because uh, we're doing this. You can finally see us. Uh, yeah, that's exactly why, you know, where I didn't know where to look. <laughs> so, uh, after a lot of promises of saying, you know, you can see us, we'll do, we are doing videos and, uh, but honestly, you can see us. This is the 100th episode of the Totally Indian Football Show. It took me 99 episodes to uh, get my promise out there. Uh, and the reason why it's double the excitement and uh, the fun because we have a very special guest. Uh, before I come to my guest, I have Ash by the ball, Ashish, who is going to co-host with me. Uh, Absolute pleasure. Ashish, how does it feel from being a guest, oh from a fan god. to a guest, and now you're going to co-host? Oh co -host. my god, what, what an absolute pleasure. Yeah. Super excited for this. That's why I said it's not scripted. He was not paid for <laughs> to say that. He's excited, guys. <laughs> Let me now come to our guest because that's how, that's why the 100th episode is all the most special. And I didn't want to do it for the sake of doing it. We have had a gap of two months, uh, but this is worth the wait. So Shant is here, aka Tulsidas Balram. Uh, the reason why I say that he was playing the role of Tulsidas Balram, the late Tulsidas Balram, who's a legend of Indian football in the movie uh, Maidan. So Shan, thank you so much for making it and firstly for showing interest to come on my show. Thank you so much because I wanted this journey of me to be told also, even the Tulsidas Balram sir and this movie. A lot of things had happened, you know, like, like last one year has been uh, good for me. And all these things happened and then I met uh, him, of course, on the premiere and I uh, got connected to him and I thought that, you know, some football show or something is where I need to go and speak about this. And it's good that I'm here and like I know that it's very natural out here just to speak out whatever you feel. And that makes me feel comfortable to come here and speak my journey. Absolutely. Uh, Ashish, again. We didn't pay him to say <laughs> or any of that. He no, didn't. No, I'm, out I'm of... glad I could I could make this connect. Happen. So the, the the gift I could give him was get him on the show as well. Uh, he has a journey. He has a story about a shirt as well. You know? Oh yeah. <laughs> so this I realized after I left my house, this is the exact same outfit that I was wearing at the Maidan premiere when I met Sushant for the first time. <laughs> it's a special lucky shirt. Uh, Sushant, let's start this by you're also a football freestyler. That's mm -hmm. where it, your journey begins yeah. as into football. So before we come to Maidan, mm -hmm. let's talk about behind the scenes what happened and how did you end up becoming a football freestyler? Yeah, so uh, firstly, I was also a footballer. Like I used to play MDFA and in the school level, I used to play that. But my school, uh, there was not a lot of football, football as such. Like you know before, in Mumbai schools, usually it is like two days before they'll just practice and they'll yeah. go. And that is how it was. And then later when I went after like my 9th, 10th and all, I lost complete touch because there was no matches happening, nothing. But love for football is always there and something to do. So, uh, you know, there used to come these videos of people are awesome on YouTube and mm. all. Like where they used to trick shots and a lot of things they used to do. Yeah. So there I saw some freestyle moves, like uh, some freestyle got featured doing those things. Then through that, surfing through YouTube, knowing what is the scope for this, like there's a lot more tricks. So I started freestyling, like juggling and then doing tricks around the world and all. And I noticed that I had shifted my focus from playing to just completely towards mm. freestyle. And yeah. I did that for a good one year. And then later I know that there are people like me in Mumbai. And this happened when I went to my college mm. and there uh, they were just there was a freestyle competition happening. And one year prior to that, I've been practicing freestyle and I didn't knew that there are freestylers. I see them do. And there are people who are competing and I'm able to do like, you know, some moves and I was so happy. I felt like competing. So that is how the competition journey started. Like I got connected with the community. Then again, a lot of competitions were happening in Mumbai. I started competing in them. And apparently I also made it to becoming the national champion. And that was the qualifiers for world finals again. And then Red Bull, you know, right? Yeah. They host this uh, such sport. For such sports, I mean, they have been major supporters is what I feel because uh, they had this national qualifiers and they took me like I had never traveled international before never had dreamed hmm. uh, by f doing freestyle I had not d thought that I'll go somewhere but then I won that competition and it was qualifiers for world finals which was supposed to be conducted in Miami oh, okay. so that was my first international uh, trip yeah. and also it was fully sponsored by Red Bull and I had to go as an athlete Sweet. so that was like a wonderful experience and going there understanding various aspects of freestyle that whole journey was fun then i decided to you know take it like a more serious sport and i started playing professionally after that i mean so that is how it has been for freestyle 
and that's yeah. phenomenal i mean i think uh, though you put in one line i'm sure the journey that took you there to get better mm-hmm. at it mm-hmm. uh because what's the transition like like you know i understand to say because you play football mm-hmm. but then it's a craft in itself freestyling yeah. right uh i often i i know someone called akshay who i'm sure you would yeah, know yeah, about know. him as well so mm-hmm. uh i often say that you know isn't it like dancing with the ball and he's like no mm. don't say that but that's how <laughs> it looks like yeah, you know, yeah, you're just having fun see, with the ball see i know like i personally when i was understanding freestyle also and later when i now understand it i see the emergence of freestyle like you go to the history and understanding so it usually the origins are in circus also okay. so you would see someone doing something with football back in like you know even 200 years back you would see someone doing something with small round thing and yeah. that is what you can see on the stage also these days like spinning a ball or something like that those are not football moves as such but those are derived from circus so i see it as an art form and of course uh, when you are competing or when you have a trick for example in a mind so that requires some athletic capability like it needs uh, that uh, you know you need to have that uh, ability within your body to execute that artistic vision of yourself right so that is why you know most of the freestylers would call them artistic athletes yeah mm. because there is a vision out there and then there is something which your body you can't do a backflip hold the ball in your leg and you know do a handstand and uh, stall the ball on your sole of the feet so that will require imagination of course that is like something artistic visually appealing to see but it will require athletic capabilities also so that is like a you know a convergence of both things i feel like art and sport and that is why i got more interested in freestyle because nice. uh, it gives uh, this both arrays you know like you have scope to explore both of them like art for art and sport for sport also so it doesn't limit yourself to and again like you said no the transition so i was a good footballer before i was a freestyler and after i became a freestyler i i i'm terrible at football now <laughs> i was supposed to i was supposed to ask you that now because <laughs> yeah um, Do you like do you do you still play and then are you tempted to do your freestyling right in the middle of a game? <laughs> <laughs> See that's impractical. Honestly, free uh, freestyle is individual game. Yeah. Football is team yeah. game. Yeah, yeah. The more you are able to sink in with the team, the more better it is. Yeah. I mean, like that's mm-hmm. the game. Mm-hmm. There's no individual yourself in the game is what I feel. But with this freestyle mindset, no, you become self-centered is what I. <laughs> yeah, I'll accept it and agree. I hope you all will also agree because. <laughs> If you notice, there's all the eyes are on the ball while you're juggling also, yes. and this doesn't work in the game. Like you have to, you you need Football, to be very yeah. alert, seeing what all who yeah. is there, where to pass, and all those things. And you're this self-centered nature towards this football. Like you, once you're starting to see football and football only, it becomes difficult to hmm. coordinate with other players, and you know do. like and but the whole thing is that you'll find one cool move in a 90 minute yeah. game or something but the contribution of a freestyler i feel it wouldn't make it to the team as much is yeah. what i feel yeah. so i think for freestyle is more of creative thinking and followed by execution correct art form and sport together but football in itself is supposed to be just a very simple game where you pass the ball you move ahead you pass the ball you move ahead no yeah. fancy skills that's correct yeah playing simple football no fancy skills especially out of the d <laughs> right when you're there yeah. Yeah. you shoot <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah and the other word uh, i don't know if it is a good part or what they expect freestyle to do something cool yeah, yeah. and I, like if we all start playing you know are you are a freestyle no you'll do something <laughs> and then i'm like let me play simple no first <laughs> i mean yeah and that simplicity is not expected first of all mm-hmm. and then that sets a bar different like then you are also tempting to you know so whole of my game also no if i play amongst with my friends and all mm-hmm. it will always be to you know rather than making as a team uh you know like doing a goal for the team or something more i'll be inclined towards doing a pana yeah because that is what is valued from and expected also from me so right. those uh, expectation standards of the people around you also shape how you uh play i mean mm. is what i feel yeah as the famous saying goes football mm. is a simple game but playing yeah. football playing simple football is difficult is difficult yeah yeah, mm. yeah. very true what was it like in miami i mean you said it's the first time you're doing an international yeah. trip and then you also now have the exposure of a larger community right mm-hmm. because the freestylers are mad across the globe correct correct um what was that like for you so uh, like being the only athlete from the india so there were uh, this countries you scandinavian countries yeah. or even uh, if you see japan for that so there were five athletes from japan like they were qualified for the world finals mm-hmm. and asia you would see like 
Japan and other uh, countries only. But India, I was the only one. And mm-hmm. rest of the countries, there were two two athletes because their uh, national standards are only high. Like the first yeah. five players of their country are amongst top sixteen in the world. Right. So that I noticed that our presence as such in freestyle is not that much. Mm. And uh, when I went there, I got to see like uh, people coming from Ghana also, like the champion of Ghana who has been like you know uh, who has been a goon. I would say like he himself says that, and then how freestyle has transformed him. Mm. And then seeing uh, some country like maybe a Norwegian champion where you know he's had a lot of privilege to practice freestyle with a lot of things sorted around him, like me it be uh, with. uh finances or anything or government taking care of uh, these athletes in a real good manner or something like that or even the living standards are high out there right so it makes it's a privilege to have a good living standard to practice your art and whereas this uh, person from ghana and then where our context from india mm, yeah. where freestyle is not even seen as a sport because yeah. it's difficult to even i won't call it like complete sport sport but while you are competing you are an athlete and sports yeah. person yes. only so those things were you know quite like that was the place where i was little confused and uh, understanding what the sport the nature of the sport is and uh, i really felt that india lacked a national standard mm-hmm. because uh, if you see other countries who's even vice champions or the first person who is the national champion you know, has set a standard for himself being on the top 5 of the world or something and that elevates the national standard and i would like to relate it with maidan also for example this yeah. 1962 era we had set a standard yeah. and still we fail yeah so but this other sports or any country if you notice no it's very rare once the national standard is set no to fail as an athlete for that country is very difficult because mm. uh, the vice champions of other countries were equally good even i'm in the national champion but the vice champion of france is far better than me is mm. what i would accept yeah. right. so those things were there and i feel in con- india also the culture is not evolved in freestyle that much so there this idea of uh, just doing what is done like mimicking because your your sport is not evolved to a scale where you will think and create your own moves right. so when i went there i saw that most of even uh, freestyle which was done no was coming from their own individuality and originality and that is what made me feel like understand my own style mm-hmm. so i'm good at acrobatics doing flips and all and combining freestyle with flips or something like that became my style after that is what i would say so recognizing my style and even conversation with freestylers uh, how they are you know taking up this sport how they are making a living out of it are, are they even making a living out of it right so those things got clear like for me also i did pursue as a freestyle to make a living out of it but to practice it and there are some uh, freestylers who are making living out of it so it was complete different uh, state to understand all these things together and lot of learning from that entire experience i didn't sleep only i don't remember sleeping <laughs> for like i spent 21 day, days out there seven days of competition and rest days i was roaming hmm. so i don't remember a single day sleeping like as i was so high on energy like everywhere yeah. just walking around getting to know all the freestylers and all those things so it was fun like totally great i think now let's talk about maidan mm-hmm. right i think we're all excited about that uh, i'm fresh off we were recording this on 30th of april and i watched the movie on 29th so also mumbai city goes into the finals uh, mm-hmm. but uh, coming back to the movie i think since the start of the movie there was a buzz and we were all excited for it i think us being when i say all indian football fans were excited to see something related to indian football up on the big screen since um, yours yeah. since yours i mean you 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 watch sports related movies yeah. there's nothing been like indian football out True. there right True. and also mainstream bollywood taking it up and putting up on big screen uh none of us thought about that mm. but when we got to know even the buzz saying that oh, there's a movie coming out about the era of the golden era of indian football and we're like oh, okay um you know the, the kids now should watch it or you know we we've only heard about it about it should we're all eager to watch and uh, then i was blessed i mean dinesh nair being the sports choreographer shout out to him i've worked with him he's my ex boss so i've seen that journey also somewhere where he was part of it uh while he was training all of you guys but now to finally see the movie and then you are right in front of us uh, you played a very key role a very important player's role tulsidas balram um take us through the journey of how probably you were approached when you got the call and when you got the call what were you you know what were the thoughts in your head uh, and then finally made it to the set set if you can just take us through all of that yeah so uh, first interact i mean my first 
like exposure for this project was uh, as a trainer for uh, the previous Tulsi Das Balram. There was one guy who was casted as Tulsi Das Balram, very sweet guy. And we had a uh, good training session with him for the sequence. And then whole thing happened. And after that, again, uh, due to some circumstances, they were not able to continue with the previous Balram. So in this, this happened, first interaction happened with the entire Maidan team on 2019th uh, September. And after that, everything, my work was done. I was off the project <coughs> and everything. And after that, in 2021, Feb is when I get uh, a call saying that we are auditioning for, for Balram. If you're interested, you can, uh, you know, give the audition because we're looking forward. You know the uh, character as such and you know what this movie is about. So if you'd be willing to come for the auditions, you please show up. So then I went for the auditions because even I was this whole character that time I had understood who Tulsi Das Balram is. Hmm. Before that, I, I didn't knew only this. I yeah. didn't knew the fact that in 1962, we won something yeah, yeah. like this. In the standard of football was, I, I didn't knew. Yeah. And then uh, through that, I got to know. So I went, of course, when you're working on a sequence, which is supposed to be the entry sequence of Tulsi Das Balram, you'll go home and Google at least you know, who is. Yeah. Then I went, I saw some interviews and I was really happy, you know, like something for him, this thing is happening. I felt. Mm. I mean, even the movie is movie, but I was really happy that these people are getting, you know, known mm. because of the her. recognition. Yeah, yeah recognition of, is get, yeah. coming. And I was really happy. And I saw his interviews and I was already flattered. Like, you know, mm. this guy is a legend. Like, mm. because yeah. I like this feeling, you know, when I am getting goosebumps <laughs> because this uh, feeling of underdog, no, is crazy. Is yeah. what I feel. Like, yeah. you are something, but the world doesn't know. But you are something like you are something which is huge. That person with huge potential sitting, staying in this uh, Kolkata, a flat mm. like three BHK flat alone. He stays right. He is a bachelor, mm. and 87, 87 year old bachelor staying there. And I was, I just wanted to do as much as possible for him from my side also. Yeah. So I put a lot of efforts in uh, structuring training that uh, previous Balram also, and all those I was just excited. And then I got to know that, okay, there's a possibility that I can be the face for the Tulsi Das Balram. So I was happy. I went, I gave the auditions and of course the audition was acting. <laughs> and then I was like, okay, I know football a little bit, freestyle I know very well, but acting is something which I really don't know. So, and they put me a costume and everything. Hmm. So this, and the, the entire, there's this audition where that in the movie, you'll see that tea, chai biscuit scene, that yeah. is the audition. And then I don't know what to do, how to make faces. <laughs> yeah. Like the whole script is there in that first line is Balram hesitantly walks. Mm. I don't know how to walk. <laughs> <laughs> what is hesitantly walk? <laughs> so then I'm just curious. So I do some, some of the other way. I just do that. And next day is football auditions. Mm. So football audition, you had to. Easy. Yeah. So I did some skills and dribbles like they wanted. So Balram was known as Pele of Asia. So. First thing, uh, I mean, if you see the style in which Brazil plays, it is mostly air balls they'll have. The dribbles will be a little cool. So then accordingly, I tried to design some dribbles and just, you know, some balls where I can take air ball or something like that. So all those things I planned and gave a video to them. And that is when I got a final call saying that I've been casted as Tulsi Das Balram. What a <laughs> feeling that must have been. <laughs> you went for the premiere. Yeah. And you also done... Uh, thesis yeah, as your so, in Indian football. Correct. So this thesis that I wrote was part of my college project 2021. I interviewed uh, Valram sir for that on call and that 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 conversation still gives me the chills to this date. He yeah, spoke last night I was actually seeing that video only. Oh, where, really? um, I mean the video where the voiceover of Valram yeah, sir is there. Yeah, right? The and and that, that gave me goosebumps like mm. say right now. <laughs> It's all over my... So that was a very, very interesting or deep conversation. It was like a 10 minute phone call, I think, mm -hmm. where he spoke about the old times and how they won things that they won without yeah. much support from the people that were supposed to help them. Zero support, you can say. Yeah. I mean, much support, <laughs> you're giving credit to the... <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that was a very interesting... And I'm, I'm glad that I took that project on and did justice i think to the story and the golden era is just one part of my thesis yeah. and when i heard about maidan i was i was like super super excited 
to see what it would look like on screen because i've yeah. written things about it but i i i never pictured it like me watching the golden era of indian football on screen with ajay devgan and with these with all these mm-hmm. amazing actors so i was very excited from the day that i knew about maidan to then looking at the trailer and going to the premiere finally that was that was yeah that was a crazy crazy night um what can i say about it no but i was really uh, happy after meeting him hmm. right after the premiere because i saw they were all actors of course you were happy you knew you were coming to the show right <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is one thing but secondly i was happy for uh, this guy out, out of all the people out there no so very rarely you find someone who knows indian football the back story of <laughs> this so even when i was in like i'm studying so in my college also when i went there was this one guy who i got to know that i have worked in this film and mm. he says that i know i tulsidas balram and and it gives us immense happiness i yeah. feel once someone knows the back story mm. and this guy had a whole uh, thesis with like he had got a hard copy of it I and know. he was showing and i i felt really nice you know like lot of these people are also and they had got him on premiere hmm. which is what can be i mean that that is these are the people who should be got right yeah. to see and understand what the film is so i felt really good seeing especially him yeah and i also i also in the, in the in the thesis i have a chapter about the holy trinity hmm. where i'm talking where i'm like i wrote about um, chuni pk and tulsidas oh, no, no. and i got all their signatures right next to the pictures hmm. so that was that was a really really sweet yeah. thing yeah i mean first of all i didn't know if i hold a position to sign something <laughs> which is like yeah i mean yeah. of course you have played a role and all but that is something different is what yeah. i mean the real players are we are real players like yeah. <laughs> honestly yeah. speaking the real players yeah. are players and to sign something as first confused are you really asking me <laughs> a sign like what no, i have yeah. done like what i i have done to sign that's true that's true but i never had the chance to meet me any too. of those real players so meeting you guys was like a i mean yeah it, it was a dream come true for me yeah. and by the way talk about the thesis the thesis in, is yeah, inspired by this that. book right here by the late novika padia barefoot to boots um do read that book if you haven't it's beautiful even like uh, many of the players in maidan also had went through this book uh, to understand their own characters also so i mean it's given in brief i read uh, about tulsi das balram from this book yeah. and some youtube videos very less material is there first is, of all yeah. and anything that adds to the literature is always good including this book and i would also suggest people to watch his read his thesis also mm-hmm. so it's available yeah send me the pdf and i also had privilege to go through it but as much information is there it becomes easier for people to understand yeah. there is no literature yeah so right now anyone who is contributing to literature big ups Yeah, absolutely. I think um, I mean Ashish, you already did that. I was supposed to do that only because the reason why we know, or even the little that we know mm-hmm. of Indian football or the golden era of whatever is about Indian football out there, is because of Nuvika Padia. We used to call him; he was known as the living encyclopedia exactly. of Indian football. Correct. Like you call him up <clears throat> at any time of the day, and he would tell you. He will have stories to tell you, right? So I think this book uh, that he's left us with is his blessing. Uh, with a lot of stories i'm sure uh i would have loved to seen his reaction watching this oh movie uh i i'm sure he would be happy with what i'm sure he still will come up and say ye tora ye tha but i'm <laughs> sure he yeah, would, yeah, be. because he'll be like <laughs> facts are facts <laughs> and i know it <laughs> you know but i think uh, he would be very happy mm-hmm. even he would have been happy to yeah. see something like this on the big screen uh so shout out to i mean yeah he's no more with us but i think he's played such a big role uh when sushant mentioned about the literature for football he's the one who's documented it and thanks to him uh moving on coming back to the movie sushant uh i mean ajit ajit devgan i think none of us thought a big actor like mm. him would play an indian football coach you know that's that's mm. how uh, that's how again a big thing happened for i think for all of us fans uh your first day shot was about the chai and biscuit thing that that's your opening uh, sequence mm-hmm. uh, after the opening sequence you have what is it like when your one on one interactions with ajay devgan but he is also raheem saab and raheem saab uh is also one of the biggest characters mm-hmm. uh, in indian football so what was that like yeah so if you notice the end that scene also so it has to do something which was happening to me in real also honestly mm-hmm. speaking 
being a non actor out there and you'll already walk hesitantly like <laughs> 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 so that was natural to me it was happening throughout the day like <laughs> शूट ऑल्सो लाइक द एंटायर स्केड्यूल ऑफ मैदान सो आफ्टर एवरी वन इज लेफ्ट ऑल माई टीम प्लेयर आर लेफ्ट मैचेस आर बींग शॉर्ट एंड देन लास्ट थ्री डेज दे हैड टू डू दिस sequence of that gully sequence yeah. ka shoot and whatever was left over patchwork and everything they had to do and in that last day was uh, this and imagine the pressure was so much because i was supposed to give that shot hmm. and throughout the entire set because it's a last day so everyone is gathered you know oh, okay. so oh, everyone's watching whole of the audience is there and my last shot is happening match mein jo bhi because matches were shot in a way where it required a lot of resources hmm. from hair makeup se leke har ek yeah, cheez like yeah. 22 players then sweat dene ke liye alag 22 log hmm. so it was a set of uh, i don't know the number but aaram se 300 log to rahenge set pe hmm. wow aur that day in the evening i'm sitting and these people are there because it's last day they, mm. there's some celebration going to happen yeah so everybody just waiting and to apne aap wo hesitation ye sab to aaya hi tha and it was fun so sitting there and then i think we got it in less takes only mm. uh, because amit sir is a really good director mm. like he would not talk much not let anyone uh, interrupt with the artist also to wo sari cheeze thi and one uh, prepared uh, one preparatory thing i did for this thing was uh, even the shot was at the evening i uh, dressed up at around uh, 10 am in the morning and i was just staying next to the set to mai subah gaya costume uh, team thi because some other things were being shot to costume team se maine mera costume le liya and i got dressed up in that all uh, you know the t-shirt where it is lot of stitches are there and everything so wo yeah. sab pehen ke as a roaming full day to get comfortable hmm. and then i realized i when i was going back to hotel in the afternoon to sleep the watchman is not recognizing <laughs> me and he's saying me are you chalo kidhar kidhar ja ho i'm like are sir mera keys and then i had to show him that access card tab ja ke unhone mujhe entry di and then i go and then my in the evening when i was coming they water the stadium to wo kuch to chal raha tha and so tab tak to khatam ho gaya na set wind up ho raha tha some contractor who had given this uh, whole task of doing that guy confused me with the guy who is supposed to water <laughs> that so whole of that it, i realized that it is good like it is happening mm-hmm. i am in looking the, very real yeah yeah looking very real so aise hi chalte firte main chala gaya and whole of the thing happened like whole of the scene only got winded up you know i want to ask you sushant when you said that uh, when you reached your hotel and your guard was like not letting you in didn't you want to say that hey main tulsidas balram hu kya baat kar raha something like that i would not want to say for that particular day because yeah. my character demanded such yeah. humbleness like Made be anything while reading and understanding Tulsi Das Balram, I had realized that he would not boast about anything at mm-hmm. all, or even want his name to be in front. Even uh, when I heard the direction team also speaking, like what Tulsi Das Balram is. So every time they spoke that, he always spoke about Rahim Sab only. Mm-hmm. Even any of the interviews, if you see on YouTube or anywhere, his presence is there. He'll speak highly about those uh, everyone other than him. Hmm. So that is something which I wanted to practice, like, and for that reason only I decided to not do that. <laughs> There's also this one, one, one little anecdote that I've read about. I'm not sure um, if it was Chuni or PK, but one of these guys were selected for an award, Arjuna or Padmashri. Padmashri, 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 Padmashri yeah, right. yeah. So and uh, Tulsi Das's name was also there, but hmm. in the His end, his Padmashri was holded back. Yeah, actually, and yeah. then they selected him to. Present the award, present the award. and I mean, yeah, that, that's I really sad. That but he was he was happy to do it for um, the, Chuni or PK. Chuni or uh, Chuni and PK both. Okay, so, so that yeah. was that. That shows how I mean he doesn't no, I, care about. This is real. I feel this certain uh, sense of absenteeism and humbleness is pra- being practiced by individual, but it can be counter productive for their growth yeah. also. Is what I noted. But if you see, there's very less literature about mm. Tulsi Das Balram sir already, <laughs> and the awards which the other players have got, his equivalence to the awards is also less. The major part Padma Shri is he doesn't has have mm. like the other players equal contribution only. Yeah. But 
I mean, then again, I really like such personality, and I was really grateful to play such a character because there's so much of truth in him, and mm. I really enjoyed, you know, like understanding his whole journey, and that I think even after Maidan has reflected in me, like these core qualities of him, no, have stayed back. They stay, yes. and like I know that when this first uh, time I got uh, any, I mean, when I was. Uh, or uh, even training this uh, previous balram for whole of the freestyle sequence and everything that time i just one month before i had won indian national championships mm. and i could see uh, you know ev- everything i was conducting there was certain sense of you know pride and understanding that okay i am something and the way i conducted but after this understanding sir tulsidas balram throughout it made a entire shift in me also towards bringing more humbleness in me is what i feel that's lovely i mean taking some values from Beautiful. the character and that i think that's the beauty of playing a real life character mm-hmm. right you um tell me a bit maybe in short and brief that you can say what was the camaraderie between the players like you know you guys are actors on set but mm-hmm. all of you are mostly acting for the first time maybe apart from madhur and uh, a couple of them but no no there are a good number of actors yeah uh, footballers are there hmm. i i would name like three good footballers who okay. so first is manandeep hmm. uh, who has been yeah. a former striker also yeah. for the country and there's this amandeep thakur hmm. and arun gosh who played uh, his name is aman munshi hmm. so these three they have uh, played for santosh trophy yeah, yeah. and all those so and there's a lot of talent of course in these leagues like we all yeah, absolutely. Yeah. yeah and these are like really class players so i got to learn a lot from them hmm. in terms of football there are actors the south uh indian guys like yeah. uh, there's this uh, arumai nigam who yeah, played yeah there was yeah yeah again uh, chandrashekhar menon who has played mm. uh, vishnu you might have met uh, these guys mm. so all these guys are they are really good actors like they are really i mean i remember so i knew that that hesitant walk is there mm. so i went to macha like mm. i we call him macha uh, mm. jayant is his name mm. he's playing uh-huh. arumai nigam mm. okay and i went to his hotel room and i said bro tell me how to has hesitant to walk <laughs> and this guy no the acting no Saying Macha, there are a lot of ways to hesitantly walk. Which one you want? <laughs> I'm like, there are a lot of ways. I thought there's at least one. Bro, teach yeah. me. I want to walk like this. And oh. it was fun interaction. You know, learning football, understanding. Yeah. Uh, there's some of them wanted to understand freestyle, hmm. some dribble. So it was good uh, exchange of, of yeah exchange of uh, ideas and right. lot of learning also. And like you said, to be a part of the team initially, it was for me. uh because all these players have been together for 3 yeah. years yeah. before me and i was casted after the 65% film has been shot mm. so getting and mingling with them was a little bit task initially because all them all of them had created certain bonds and everything so but within like we are all players only after yeah. all so for players even though they are actors but for players and it is really easy to because football is yeah. there there's one common thing is football and there's a yeah. lot of interaction that can happen through that also so through that i got mingled and then made Basically, a good it's just like a football team no it a new signing a comes in yeah. and there's already a bond ab ye kon aa gaya chalo milte hain yeah types you know but about the camaraderie dude at the premier i i was in a different hall and then after our show ended we went into the to the to the hall where these guys the players were watching and um, the moment it ended everyone like just they broke into tears they were celebrating yeah and um, a little bit of like the teary show and then after that um slow cheeta pk who played pk yeah. he just started a random chant uh, and it it was so good it's from the see. movie itself yeah it's from the it movie is, yeah. so is, yeah. this chant was created before of course i mm. was casted mm. so that everyday practice we used to follow that that gives you goosebumps it is yeah. yeah and to be there and everyone's just crying and like hugging each other and it's such a emotional deep state that yeah. everyone is in and this random chant comes out of nowhere and everyone's just following along it's it feels like it feels like team india has just come home from the 1962 yeah, yeah. oh my god it was for so the team good to also see. you know five years on one project and mm. uh all of them are some of them are actors players and everything yeah. even some is some is studying or something like that we mm. had to take education breaks and all mm. and it was a huge like it got prolonged you know if yeah, you see yeah. like we i was when i was signing the contract it was just 3 months mm. like in 3 months of time everything yeah, will be done yeah. and then it took me more 2 uh, and 1/2 years yeah. and these guys also 
plus three years before them. So five, five and a half years of journey. Yeah. That day was the when we saw like what we have created. Yeah. So it was a whole emotional turmoil also to be together and you know be together and experience all of this like whole journey. Like five years is a huge thing. It's not mm-hmm. like a small uh, time. Every time we are off the shoot, we know that okay, there's something we are associated with, mm-hmm. and now there's no. Like it's gone, like it's there. done. Like now the film is come. Yeah. Now we are finally free, also. But that freedom, every mixed emotions yeah. all together. Yeah. So it and shows. It shows the. Yeah. I mean, I've seen it, and I was like, I was lucky that I had my camera on while this chant started, and I have that on yeah. video. I keep going back to it, and I keep getting goosebumps. It really shows how much these guys are having put their effort put into it, everything yeah. into it, yeah. and how much it means for them that they've represented the team. Yeah, I think. I can sit here for another five hours, <laughs> uh, but I have a team that's you know keeping a check of how much I speak. Uh, finally, I think I'm going to ask a similar question. I think all of us can share something. Uh, but Sushant, for you, for having been part of the set uh, from your journey into the movie to seeing the big screen, what has the movie or probably the journey throughout the movie left an impact? One, you've already said that you've taken values from the role that you've played, but otherwise, what how? big of an impact has this movie played in your life so uh, right now amongst my people who know me and all this new array of acting which i feel like exploring because after the workshops and everything last day of my shoot also i realized that it's a it's again like a art form only just like freestyle and everything and once you practice certain kind of art like in freestyle also there's this thing called uh, show flow so where uh, you do a kind of a show which is like an act so it can be where it's a act where you are uh, doing a performance but at the same time you are also showing certain emotions or you know uh, sharing a story through your act and that requires certain skill of acting also which before i would have never thought so i would like to bring such thing in freestyle maybe and these are the things which i really learned and again exploring acting and another thing is uh, i have also liked uh, filming sports so if you see maidan is shot really well and over there i remember where even if i was uh, having uh, even if i was as an actor over there i used to go behind the camera talk to assistant cinematographers as much as possible how they are filming i used to this observation was a whole different learning so like sitting there and observing so sports uh, choreography and sports uh, direction is something which i am interested now acting is something which i'm interested and this is all post film okay before that it was majorly freestyle and maybe my academics so these whole things this i mean few things yeah and when you're building a crew you know who to call we <laughs> two of us are right here <laughs> sushant so went there as an actor to play to yeah. sinas but he came out as an entire film maker yeah <laughs> yeah it has changed and for many or i think Anywhere you be for like good amount of time, yeah, certain it, things yes. you will take away. Mm. True. And for all the actors, if you ask, no, I think they will have a different journey. Mm. Great. Great. I think uh, for you, Ashish, for someone who's probably following Indian football as a fan, and then now you also create content, uh, and also being on my show. But uh, <laughs> what is it like? You no, know, you've, you've, as you mentioned, you've done thesis. You saw this movie come up on big screen. You were part of the premiere and stuff. How? What an impact has this movie made on you? Um firstly I would like to mention that it's it's an absolute pleasure and I'm not kidding it's an absolute pleasure to be the first co-host that you had on this show on the 100th episode <laughs> along with Sushant so thank you so much for that but um about the movie and about Indian football so the reason that I started creating content um on Indian football and specifically around Indian football was that it needs to be shown what Indian football was before and the the place that it's at right now does not match i, I mean it's just difficult to explain how we've come here from yeah, we sit we another 5 hours before. talking about that <laughs> okay yeah so i'll i'll just keep it short it it feels great that there's been a movie about indian football the golden era and i hope that this movie has i mean i know that this movie has the capability to inspire many more generations mm-hmm. after this but one one like um goal that this movie i think should have is like to um for some for a kid who's watching the movie right now maybe that kid starts playing football because of this movie and then i don't know goes on to play for the national team yeah, 15 years down the line i would like to add just one thing which i feel 
even when i was freestyling no so the motivation factor for me was mostly movies only hmm. so you see this whiplash or any yeah. sort of movie you see where there's kind of obsession towards this yes any kind of art form talent or sport or whatsoever and that is a motivation bunch for i feel most of the teenagers or anyone who is in that zone where there's no much life i mean you're not thinking about this other pro- life problems hmm. but that time there's a huge uh, movies are driving force is what i feel or even small youtube videos or something and this movie again like i said you know how this books add to the literature movie add to yeah. is adding up to this uh, whole quota of motivation for the upcoming generations yeah. and that is one thing like he said i mean i completely agree to it i think for me uh, i've not been able to meet the players but i must say that i have met franco sir um and we had i had the pleasure of meeting him for spending time in his house for 2 hours um and i i have a small note from him as well couldn't get on the show but probably i'll do a whole thing separate thing about it uh and i am so blessed to have done that the whole story behind it also mm-hmm. how i ended up meeting him but another day for that uh, so to see the movie and then in the end i know this i will i will give you a a uh, disclaimer mm-hmm. saying that this is has uh, uh spoilers so you better go watch the movie um uh, in the end there are visuals to so stay till the end if you haven't watched it yet and you plan to watch uh, the, there are those are beautiful shots it is going to overwhelm you and for someone who's met franco sir to see him and he's no more I mean, none of them are anymore unfortunately they've all went together and there's a another beauty about like, the friendship they were close they all went in the similar period yeah. in the time frame mm-hmm. they were old yes i think you know during covid that uh, we all lost them but uh, those shots are beautiful and i think uh, kudos to amit the entire team of maidan mm-hmm. for doing this uh, big ups to tushar i i don't know if i yeah, i don't remember tushar. second name but brilliant cinematography yeah tushar kantire yeah uh, i think i i had to give a shout out to all of them i think thank you i think for me when i was watching it there are regrets at times you know why am i in working indian football like <laughs> things that are happening now yeah, yeah, yeah. when i watch them like i know this this is why I'm this, this yeah, is i'm like I'm and like also like football. people are like i wish i could just stand up and say you know what i know <laughs> this is what it is you're watching the movie now go follow yeah. like i i was so tempted to tell everyone who i was watching yeah. like kal show kar rahe hum log jaake kal you know so but i think i hope uh, there are a lot of other things I think Indian football is marred with things off the ground, which mm-hmm. is not in our control. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I hope all of us have a role to play, and I think uh, someday things will get better. We yeah, will yeah. probably some way, if it's not a gold era, silver era, which era aata hai mer, we are proud again. But uh, Sushant, thank you, thank, thank you, you so much, much um, for doing this and for coming all the way. It means a lot. I may not be great to express it. But no, no, I'm. You hear fact, me rambling? I'm really happy that something. <laughs> is happening yeah, you know you're you guys you're rambling that's what that's how excited <laughs> i am so thank you so much it it means thank a lot thank you so much it means yeah. a lot to me also and ashish kya bolu abhi show pe leke aaya hu every time no no absolute absolute thank pleasure you so absolute pleasure congrats on your 100th episode yes guys woo hoo uh, so thank you once again for all the love support that you guys have been showering uh two months of gap sorry for that uh, there'll be another as an unintentional gap gap uh, abhi shayad se intentional gap hoga but uh, we're going to get back doing bigger better things uh, we'll continue the storytelling uh, we'll continue doing this and uh, humans of indian football the totally indian football show is here to stay episode number 100 featuring sushant thank you so much mm-hmm.